AMD's next generation looking to be a mighty fine snack. The Steam Deck will have more rivals. And you want to take a peek at the RTX 4090? We can take a peek at it. The pictures are out. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. In case you're wondering, I got to potentially have COVID. I'm waiting on my PCR test to come to anyways. I, I've, I'm going to cough throughout this episode. And you might cough when you hear the rumored specs of AMD's upcoming Ryzen. 7000 series chips with new reports coming out from leakers indicating that the uh, 7000 series might be 24% faster than the current series of CPUs that are out there. This is on top of the rumor where we saw last week where there was a 5.2 gigahertz, eight core, 16 thread CPU being tested. Allegedly, according to reports, uh, the next gen CPUs can even go faster than that. The IPC is supposed to be much higher, meaning that you're your chips are going to be just a better bang for buck if AMD keeps their prices in check. According to the claims by YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead, 15 to 24% increase in IPC over Zen 3, 8 to 14% increase in clock speed, 28 to 30% single threaded performance increase. So you combine the IPC with the clock speed and you're just, you're getting really fast performance. We've heard rumors of this nature in the past where that was supposed to be the leap from Zen 1 to Zen Zen 2 when it kind of was almost like in select scenarios like AMD could make the claim that they they hit up the 20% improvement. This would be a massive up change from what we currently have. So I'm kind of skeptical at the numbers. Obviously, Zen 4 is supposedly going to be better. I, I say obviously we expected that from Intel at one point and then they just stopped advancing. So I expect it of AMD, but it could also not go that way. Also, some indication on the timeline, Ryzen 7000 Raphael chips samples already running production should start soon with potentially us getting the APU sometime in Q1 of 2023. But on top of that, there's a new rumor that's been appearing that the flagship chip of the 7950X might actually have 24 cores and 5.4 gigahertz. This is something that kind of goes against previous rumors. We were hearing that AMD was going to top out at 16 cores and 32 threads, but according to this latest leak coming in from several different different sources, the 7950X might have that 24 core 48 thread setup with a high clock speed. Now, some speculation behind this might be because Intel is planning on launching a 24 core chip on their own with Raptor Lake this coming fall. And so AMD might follow suit with something like that. There's some speculation that it could potentially be a one off series, kind of like the 5800X 3D and the mainline chip supposed to be 16 cores and 32 threads like the Ryzen 9. But we obviously will have to see how how that works out, whether or not the 3D vCache is going to be implemented in all SKUs by AMD in the next generation. But one of the alleged ways this could go is the 7950X could have 24 cores and the 7900X would have 16 and AMD just bumps down the product stack. Uh, there's, this is almost too good to be true, right? Like it's going to be 35% faster and have 50% more cores for like roughly the same price. I've heard these rumors before. They usually don't play out like this, but let me know what your expectations are for the Ryzen 7000 series down below in the comments. But how you're going to pay for something like that is obviously with crypto, because why not? Bitcoin is up 1.5% today to be just shy above $30,000. Been kind of waffling between 29 and 30 for the past 24 hours. Ethereum up 1.5% to be at 2042 and Dogecoin up 2% to be at 8.9 cents. But let's talk about prices that are going down. Thanks to UFD deals, Reese bringing you the hottest tech deals on the internet. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, well, we've got the Steel Series Arctis One wired gaming headset, only $25.48 over on Amazon. It's a 50% off. That's dang. That's pretty good. It's wired, but I mean, still good price. EVGA has their Supernova 750 G5 going for only $80 right now. That's a 47% savings on a pretty dang decent power supply. And ASRock has a deal on their Z590M micro ATX motherboard going for a hundred bucks over on Newegg right now. But while we were talking about AMD's future, let's talk about AMD's present, which is what's going out with the Ryzen 6000 series in laptops. The 6800U is supposed to be released in a few laptops right now. And we're getting more details that it might be 
appearing in a few more handhelds. In a previous episode of Hot News this week, we talked about how the Aya Neo 2 is supposed to get the 6800U, which would make it faster than the Steam Deck. According to the reports, GPD might have these ready by June for us to get our hands on, which is a much faster cadence than we're seeing from the Aya Neo 2. GPD, just like Aya Neo, is going to be expensive. They are not cheap devices, but if you're looking for the most powerful handheld, a 6800U is gonna do you much better than the Steam Deck. I heard a lot of you in the comments when we were talking about the Steam Deck discuss the fact that this is a software support. You need software support. Number one, software support for handheld on Windows is like fine. Like you can play games, obviously power profiles and all of that. Yes, Steam OS is, is gonna be a little bit better catered to that, but there's also plenty of work being done to get a Steam OS 3.0 version on any PC. So you could potentially be running Steam OS on one of these bad boys in case software is your bag. Well, Valve still wants you to buy from them. So still using Steam OS on what would be arguably a faster computer makes sense. What doesn't make sense though, is how Intel is rolling out their GPU GPU and their GPU features. In a previous episode of Hot News this week, we talked about how Dolman, a game I haven't heard of, said that they are going to be launching with their XESS super sampling technology this week. In fact, on the 20th. Well, uh, that wasn't happening. I kind of called it at the time that it, this was going to be rolled back because it was clearly not the case. But they said that it was going to be in a day one patch. But now they're saying, oh, it's coming out this summer, not this week, because the Intel hasn't even launched their GPUs yet. They're not gonna launch a software feature for them without it. I don't think they would. At least it just doesn't make rational sense to me. They could potentially do it, but uh, yeah, it wasn't gonna happen on a game that doesn't have a whole lot of promotion behind it. It's like, this is supposed to be like a good thing for Intel anyways. But one of the things that does appear to be happening is us getting pictures of the RTX 4090 or 4090 Ti's Heatsink, yes, the setup that's gonna actually show the Founders Edition being pictured for the first time over on the Chip Hell forums. You can see this is a different looking cooler than the current situation that's out there on the RTX 3090 Ti. I know, in case you're not familiar, it's really this little chip block right here. That thing is huge. If you compare it to what's on the 3090 Ti, that's much smaller, okay? You can see it's more like a cross shape where it's including the memory chips in the block, whereas this one has separate memory cooling on top of that. But then also us getting pictures of the actual heatsink. It's actually a denser set of fins on this block. So this does appear to be a different cooler than what's currently out on the market and potentially even the frames you can see right here, this potentially, according to reports, says 4090 Ti, but that could be Photoshopped. Regardless, what's probably not photoshopped is this picture right here as well as this picture right here those would be difficult to, to photoshop in the fashion that they are this one less so but it does seem to be that nvidia is ramping up production on these gpus we talked earlier about how it potentially will be coming out in july mid-july of this year so just two months away and if you remember back to when the rtx 30 series was coming out with their brand new cooler the chip hell forms actually had it three months before nvidia even announced the rtx 30 series so this does pretty much much bowed in, in accordance with all of the other rumors that we've been seeing that the RTX 40 series is coming soon. I saw a few comments talking about the fact that it's going to be a paper launch, which is possible. Um, it does seem to be that production is getting better. I've gone on Best Buy's website and I've been easily able to pick up a 3090 Ti at my local Best Buy for the past week and a half. There's other cards that are plentifully available. AMD is plentifully available. It does look like GPU stock is back to normal and especially especially my my thought here is that if mining is petering out right now people aren't picking up cards nvidia needs more sales so launch the cards as soon as possible and sell as many as possible so that the dip of transitioning between the 30 and the 40 series isn't there and that you can get renewed excitement and keep your shareholders happy with infinite growth because that is what capitalism demands you ever grow never slow down always more money 